Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm back just, you know, a couple minutes later from yesterday when <laughs> it will be yesterday when this posts. Um, anyway, but I'm filming concurrently. So this is part two of making ephemera for the Strawberry Journal, um, the design team project for Stacy's Stories. Um, so we'll carry on where we left off, which is, you know, we made these four tags and um and i want i want to finish um a couple more at least three or four more and and one is this master board so let me just quickly get these two done and um and then they will be kind of out of the way so i took this little piece of i had you know this folded paper in my paper pile and I, I stained it with some dye and now I'm just going to put um, some little pieces on this. So what happened to my book? Here it is. Oh again that's a nice add on the back too but we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go just a little bit off kilter and then we're going to put this little add the weekly stocks here and we're going to put this leaf kind of behind so that's going to go right there And then this is going to go right here on the top. All right, so then that just this a little journal thing and I will probably try to find a scrap I don't know some kind of a scrap that will reinforce this edge it can't be antique because it's gonna have to fold the whole point is to reinforce <laughs> to make a little bit of a binding on that side so I'll look for something later but there's that it's done I'll probably also kind of distress the edge so that it looks finished. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, we'll put that with the other ones over here. Now for this one, this is the large card that I said I needed. It's going to go in, in a, a particular pocket. In, but depending on when I get this masterboard done, I might use that instead. I don't know. But this is a very pretty, um, very bright. Look at that pink. Man, that is bright. When my daughter was a little girl, that was her favorite color. <laughs> Magenta. Anyway, it's really bright. And so I'm going to tone it down a little with these um, ads again, vintage ads. So I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange it. So let me, this I know will go behind. And... Um, and then here's another little, I mean, by now we know these are strawberries. No, these are actually raspberries, but that's okay. Um, so I think we'll do, so if it gets cut, covered up a little, that's okay. So that's going to go back there. This is going to go down here. And this is going to go on top, maybe, yeah, I think, okay, so we'll take 
this off. So that one gets glued here in the corner. Now remember, something on the design always has to be straight. So that's going to be how this is. That's, its job is to be the straight thing. This is going to go wonky. And this is going to go a little wonky. This needs to go on the other side. Moved up just a little, or else moved down. Two, three. Can't make up my mind. There we go. Kind of close to the edge, but it's got to go down. Okay. There's that, and then. Okay, now that needs, that needs another something, like over here, just a little, like a little sentiment. I don't have one out, but what have I got? It just needs something to, I don't know, it's, it, it needs a little something just down here. There's a stamp. No, that's in, see that ends up being in the middle, which is, uh, no, no good. That's kind of cute. Not very big though. I don't want it to cover the strawberries too much. That's, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I think, I think we'll go with that. And then maybe I'll go to the closet and get a little tiny sentiment. Okay, I like that. Let me grab the... words. Okay, what have we got here? The goodness of the heart. The music of my heart. Uh, preserve this keepsake. Happiness of coming home. Or just happiness. Um, a happy place to be. That's what I want. There we go. Great. Now that just looks like something that someone has kind of clipped things out and made a little scrapbooky kind of thing. I like it. That's good. Okay, so there's that. All right, on to the little master board. So this is kind of a, a weird master board, um, but the reason why I, I wanted to do this is because, look, um, I really liked this. <laughs> I really like this print just for this journal. It's just, 
the right kind of gives me the right vibe but look here on the back I don't like this as much um, it's not ugly I'm not gonna call it ugly because in the right place it could be really good but in this in this journal um, I don't mind the colors but I just don't want that much in my face so I'm gonna cover cover it up and I'm gonna do it like a master board but not a complete master board because I, I do want some of the the colors to, to come on the edge so I just have kind of arranged I'm gonna do a little bit so we're just gonna cover some of it so I, I don't know if I can call this a master board or or not but I'm just gonna cover some is that straight? No. Probably good enough. Okay. So we'll put that down. And then, um, let's see. I'm going to put some newspaper down here. Thankfully, this newspaper tears really well. <laughs> it is, it is really, I think we're going to put it up just a little bit. I don't know, it might get covered, but, but we'll see. Um, and then I think I'll put another piece up here. This is a newspaper from 1937, the Seattle times I think um, okay and then this isn't that that's such a pretty image I think I want to put a little bit of distress around the edge Straight. Good grief. All right, up on my tippy toes. There we go. Okay, that's pretty straight. And now let's get some more um, something. I because this is so red, I do kind of want to, to bring in a little bit of pink somehow and you know you're gonna think this is not gonna look good Kathleen yeah but it will I promise we're gonna put an edge on that and then put that down there it's like my mother told me remember that um, when you uh, when you look at it up close, there's mm, you just think mm, that's not not good. But like the impressionists, when you step back, yeah, it starts looking good. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think we'll put that down side turn that off okay and and then this is gonna come down here this is another one of the images I 
have this, this is like tissue, that's music. Put some of that on down here to cover up. I'm going to leave this branding strip on there just because I kind of want the, the white, except that I don't really want it white, but I want the text. So, yeah. So we will put glue right along in there and cover that. With music. There we go. And then put this little piece on. Like that. Mm, now let's do doily first. Doily is, you know, very evocative of what I am trying to do. Um, you know, my grandmother, she had doilies everywhere. She was a crocheter. I'm a crocheter too. You might not know that, but I, I love crochet as well. I'm just ripping that up for heaven's sakes. My fingers are sticky now. That's okay, because I can cover it now with this. I love to crochet. It's very soothing to me, and um, and I, I like doing thread, thread crochet. It's honestly my favorite, kind of. All right, let's trim some of this off so we can see what we've got going. the time we're still okay which is good because there's still more work we need to do on this okay that it's it's looking pretty good though don't you think yeah I like it um, I think we need some green down here so we will so imagine we're going to cut it this is how, how I think this is 12 inches. Oh, just a little more than 12 inches. It's about 12 and a half inches. Oh, because I left the branding strip on. Yeah, so it's 12 and a half inches. So I need to cut it at six, 12 and a half. It would be six and a quarter. Okay, let me do that. Excuse me just one minute. Come over here and slice that. Okay, that, that gives us two large cards like it um, and let me just round the corners because that's what I like to do so that you know it it left some of the some of the colors in the back and that this gold and even the blue that's in the journal so no problem there but yeah, I kind of like that stamp there with the green. We need some. What else have we got? We need some more green. What have we got? We've got green stamps over here in the tray. Yeah, green stamps would look nice. Hmm. So this is kind of heavy here, so I'm trying to balance that. That's what I'm trying to do. So we've got to we've got to balance. That that looks good. That's good. We'll put the green stamps there, but then we're, we need something up here, too. Unless we just cut a little more of that off, make it a little shorter. We could do that. Um, let's, let's try that first. Let me cut a little bit of that off. We'll make this six. What do you think? 
Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, now we're going to put... I don't know. That still seems a little like... Yeah, let me cut just a little more off. Sorry. Okay. Yep, like that better. Okay, the green stamps are going on here. And Little, it's a little ration ticket, a little ration stamp from the war. I'm going to put that there and we could put another sentiment that those screen stamps are not straight. Dang. There, that's better. Um, I need a sentiment on this one too, I think. Just something, something, um, together we will sit and rest, I think. No, not there. Maybe there. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so there's that. Okay, I like that. It's not quite done, but we'll see. And then I kind of like those two stamps together. So let me put this one down. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh. It's a hazard when your fingers get sticky. I need to get a baby wipe and clean my fingers. Good grief. my fingers before I do anything else. All right. Now this stamp will go on there. Okay, we're running out of time, so I need to I need to pour the speed on, I think. straight yes okay I like well I like that I I really quite like that okay now what I'm gonna do is um, this is gonna make a mess so let me move my stuff kind of out of the way and remove these things out of the way because what we're going to do now is splatter some paint. Um, we're going to do just a little bit of black for sure. And maybe a little tan or a little off-white. Let's do some off-white first. So we're going to put some of that down and then we're going to want some black. And then we need a little bit of water. Okay. 
and a brush. Which one? I think we'll use, no, we'll use this, this one. I should move my doll. Um, what I'll do is uh, lift her out of the way because I don't want to get her. So I need to make her an apron. Okay. And then we're just going to splatter a little bit. Okay. And then. Clean that and get just a little bit of black. I don't want much. I just want it to be a little thinner. over okay and then get ready to dry these okay Might have liked it better before the splatters. I don't know, but splatters kind of they can tend to just add something to it. It'll look a little less, you know, stark when they when it's dry here. It's not as shiny and it won't be quite it won't stand out quite so much. Well, those are pretty thick globs, so I think that I won't make you wait because we're, we're kind of coming to the end of our time again. But So there's those two large tags. And show you these other move these out of the way so there's those two and these two that we've made today together with these um, here let me move these up together with these four that we made before so that's eight pieces out of about 32 that I need to make actually no I made some earlier that are in and then I have those papers that we talked about you know so I should be pretty good but I've still got a few more pieces to make but you'll see them in the flip through which will be next so thanks for spending time with me making ephemera and um, I always appreciate uh, your time and we'll see you again thanks